Hey guys, it's the first YouTube video I've ever tried to do before, so bear with me on this. Bought a 2021 R Max. I guess it's been two weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago. I, I bought it right before Christmas, and um, I didn't get a ton of time to ride it, but I got upwards, uh, I think about 35 miles on it, and I had a major failure. As far as I can tell, there's an internet thread going on right now talking about it, but beyond that there's no videos or any uh maintenance technicians or dealerships talking about it at all so a, a short story about what happened i was running about 25 or 30 miles an hour uh, the machine was up to temperature it uh got a very violent kind of jerk in the drivetrain and i don't recall exactly what kind of sign, sounds it was making before it did that but i wasn't going very fast i wasn't driving it hard it was about 30 degrees outside, so it was cold, but again, the machine had been running. It wasn't cold, and I uh, come to a stop, got out. It kind of sounded like a rear end or front end failure, uh, kind of a gear sound, uh, grind, I guess you could say, and um, from there, I couldn't find any fluid on the ground. I didn't see any damage of any kind, so I got back in and cranked it back up, uh, tried, to, uh, tried to go on a little bit, got up to about 10 or 15 miles an hour. It was very, very loud. Uh, drivetrain noise. I wouldn't call it a grinding, but it was definitely like a deeper whine noise. So I was out in the middle of nowhere on a gravel road, so I decided to kind of try to limp it home and went another two miles or so really slow, probably five miles an hour or less. And uh, the noise got worse, and you could feel it was almost like something was binding in the drivetrain. Uh, it was bogging the machine down. So I went as slow as I could, and eventually I started seeing some belt smoke. So I knew at that point something was. was was bound up pretty bad so uh I, I continued to go on and low I, I knew it was probably causing further damage i guess but uh, i was stranded out in the middle of nowhere and it was it was uh do that or or walk a long way so we went ahead and pushed on and uh, eventually the belt smoked really bad uh, and then it quit pulling so i turned it off again i got out checked everything there's no fluids on the ground nothing of that nature uh I put it in low and um four-wheel drive just to see what would happen and then it started pulling again i don't know if, if it was a bearing failure and maybe it cooled down enough to allow something to let go i, I don't know i'm just speculating at this point i'm a mechanic by nature but i, I don't know uh, how the transmissions are set up in these things at all so i'm not going to give a lot of opinions on what i think may, could, may be wrong I, I did after uh getting up the next day i took a look at the machine and I could see some belt fragments and some, some aluminum fragments on the rear diff, I'm assuming, that blew out of the transmission vent. Uh, it did uh, pull under its own power back onto the trailer, and it did unload itself at the dealership, but it was making a lot of noise, a lot of drivetrain noise, and it sounds like it's coming from directly under me, so I'm assuming it's going to be in the transmission. The thread that I was talking to other people with on has, have said there's some type of bearing failure in the transmission which would line up with what I'm seeing and hearing that would explain the uh, metal and the belt fragments that I'm getting on the back of the machine which I'm assuming again is coming out of the vent the aluminum does uh, worry me a little bit because it's it wasn't steel so like a bearing taking a dump on you would uh leave some steel you would think but it was all aluminum chips and pieces so it, uh, it seems to me like maybe a bearing spun in the housing which would have ruined the transmission housing which means my brand new machine with less than two hours on it is going to have to have a transmission pulled which i'm not very excited about so because uh i haven't seen a video on youtube yet about this or addressing this i figured i would get on and talk about it a little bit hopefully somebody else can chime in and, and talk about it as well we can go from there as soon as i get the machine back or as soon as i hear from the dealership i'll update everybody on that and uh, we'll see where we go from there